Up to 100 whales beach themselves at Augusta. A massive Perth smokestack becomes the target of a death-defying stunt. And America holds its breath for the space shuttle. Seven Nightly News with Susanna Carr and Jeff Newman. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Seven News. Also tonight, a piece of Russian space junk lands in WA. And Fergie under the hammer from the British press. But first tonight, an environmental disaster on our doorstep. The people of Augusta, south of Perth, are tonight battling to save up to 100 whales which have beached themselves. It's a repeat of the incredible incident there two years ago. And while wildlife authorities rush to the area, there are fears that many of the false killer whales are already dead. It's been barely two years since more than a hundred of these magnificent creatures beached themselves at Augusta in the southwest. That event focused world attention onto the tiny West Australian town and the people who fought around the clock to save these giant mammals. They thought it was a once in a lifetime experience, but late today it happened again. Up to 100 false killer whales have beached themselves in almost exactly the same place. Authorities, conservationists and townsfolk learned invaluable lessons from the 1986 experience and they've already mounted what they hope will be an even more efficient rescue operation. People are on the beach now as they were two years ago and wildlife experts are rushing to the area. They have their job ahead of them. Many of the whales are believed to have already died and the remaining mammals, say locals, have been weakened by their ordeal and are distressed. The area too is likely to cause problems. Residents say they will have to bring in heavy machinery to relaunch the whales and the beach is surrounded by dense bushland. Yvette Mooney, Seven News. And Seven News crews are tonight rushing to the area and will bring you the most comprehensive coverage of this life-saving attempt. A race against time to save Augusta's dying whales. Australia's golden girls play the game of their lives. And America back in space at last. Seven Nightly News with Jeff Newman and Susanna Carr. Good evening and welcome to Seven News. Also tonight a warning for Perth parents about a household killer. And Fergie and Andrew continue their royal tour. A desperate rescue operation is continuing tonight at Augusta on our south coast in an effort to save dozens of whales who've beached themselves. But there's been good news. It seems a large number of the false killer whales have been saved. Our first story tonight is from reporter Yvette Mooney, who worked through the night with the whales and the rescuers. When darkness fell upon Scott River Beach near Augusta, the shadows were real. Scattered along the coast were more than 60 false killer whales, buried in shallow graves along the coast. There were no eerie cries of pain in the darkness, just the constant sound of distressed creatures choking for air. Many of the gentle giants had drowned as they were tossed by waves. Rescuers kept an all-night vigil, gently rocking the creatures as if they were babies, soothing their bodies with buckets of water. There was no time to examine why they'd beached themselves. Volunteers were too busy keeping them alive. When you come back off the beach, it's fairly important also that you get warm, or as warm as you possibly can. There's a tent there to get out of the wind. There's a fire. There's tea and coffee and that sort of stuff there. And a few sangers. Make sure you get a hot drink. As day broke, rescuers had the chance to see their efforts rewarded. All the whales they'd nursed during the night were still alive. About 40 whales had survived and rescuers weren't giving up. Well, I'm determined it's going to survive. Yeah, we're going to pull her through. I'm really hopeful. I think she's really going to come through with all the support we've given her. They're going to live, as always. They've got to live. While lanolin was being massaged into their wounds, nearby the big rescue attempt had begun. This, say wildlife officers, was the whale's only chance of survival. This evening, many of the whales have been transported to calmer waters off the town centre. Those who'd grown attached to the creatures overnight were now preparing them to swim to freedom. By tomorrow, it's hoped all the whales would have made their way out to sea. Yvette Mooney, 7 News. And dozens of people from around the state are now preparing to spend another night in the water as part of this dramatic rescue bid. As Mike Searle reports, 
Those involved have only one desire, to make sure that every whale is saved. The alarm went out on radio and TV late yesterday. Immediately, locals who had been involved in a similar rescue two years earlier fought their way through dense bush to get to the stranded whales. I don't believe in the suicide theory. I think what happened is that they uh, was fairly well documented from last time that uh, where the river water comes out, there's a change in the, the type of water and the temperature and all those sort of things and it seems to throw them out a bit. They lose direction. By dawn the locals had been joined by hundreds of others. They had journeyed up from Albany and down from Perth. Their desperate fight to save the whales was paying off. In the safety of Flinders Bay, caressing the animals they had adopted, the saviours spoke of why. <laughs> We're in the human race. I suppose we've got to help a little bit, haven't we? Oh, just that we like the whales and dolphins and uh, thought we should give a hand. Why is there such this attraction, do you think? I don't know. I suppose there's a lot of the locals that just care about them. Yeah, yeah they're special, are they? Shut up. Yeah. 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 This is the fourth such stranding in recent years along this stretch of beach, and calm officer Dave Mel says the reason is simple. Uh, the theory is that if they are, make a, a navigational error, then they could be uh, brought into shallow waters, become dis disorientated, and then consequently come up on the beach. The feelings these animals bring out in the human race can only be the best kind of feelings, and although 20 of them have died so far, these people hope and say they will save the rest of them. In Augusta, Mike Searle, Seven News. And news just in from Augusta. We believe an attempt is being made to return the whales to the sea. Reporter Mike Searle joins us now from Augusta. Mike, what's happening? Yes, that's right, Susanna. An attempt has been made to release them, but unfortunately it has failed. The 38 surviving killer whales were released at 5.30 when the man in charge of the operation, Dave Bell, gave the word for them to be released from the holding pens in Flinders Bay with the proviso that if they didn't make a dash for the open sea, then within 10 minutes they would be rounded up and brought back into the bay. And that didn't happen. So, Mike, they're being held in the bay overnight and obviously that involves a lot of manpower. How confident are the rescuers that the whales will survive the night? Well, the rescuers are very very confident that the, all of the animals will survive the night and they're also very confident that they will be successfully released. In fact, they've put a, an 80% figure on it. Does this mean that the people actually have to stand in the bay overnight holding the animals upright? Yes, it's another cold night in the water for, for about four or five hundred people tonight who have come to the southwest town of Augusta to save the whales. Yes, it's going to be a cold, long night for those rescuers. And roughly how many people are supporting each whale? Well, for the smaller whales, there's probably three or four people, including children. But for the bigger whales, there's up to a dozen people. And, and they're, they're caressing them, they're stroking them, they're cuddling them, and they're making sure that the, the weaker ones don't drown. Mike, we wish you every best of luck and wish, you, wish we were there with you. Thanks, Susanna. Thanks. Thanks to uh, Mike and Steve Taylor. We'll have more on the whale saving operation in State Affair after the news at 6.30. It's been a long, long and disappointing night for the army of rescuers at Augusta, but their courage and determination to su succeed has never faltered. Seven News reporter Yvette Mooney has followed their struggle and filed this report on the people who've toiled without any reward except freedom for the whales. We need the muscles to work on one whale at a time, head first up the beach. It was living chaos on the beach, people yelling in disbelief, panicking, running in all directions. In the background, the whales, disorientated, distressed, whimpering and struggling to breathe. It was a sight that would break the hardest of hearts. Tossed together like sardines, their faces were filled with agony and confusion. Why, cried volunteers, did it have to happen again? I was uh, bloody angry, frustrated, um, disappointed, I nearly cried, I suppose. But the people here are of a special breed. Some have spent almost 48 hours with the whales and they weren't going to let them die now. As word got round of the latest stranding, volunteers poured onto the beach. Some grabbed buckets of water to cool the whales, others teamed together to carry them ashore. They were not only battling the waves, but the weight of these huge mammals. And in the desperate race against time, a woman became a victim. Her leg crushed underneath one of the beach giants. 
Last night, spirits had been so high. Binders Bay, near the town centre, was filled with more than a thousand people. From the water's edge, the sight was both moving and memorable. The watchers and the whales gently swaying together in an amazing display of maternal emotions. And how is she coping? It's getting better every time we have a shift. Um, it's Breathing wasn't too good before, but it's getting better now. It's very I think it's pining for its mum. Needs yeah. some milk. But this morning, that joy turned to anguish, which many couldn't hide. Before them, whales bleeding, crying and dying. Hopes are now pinned on yet another possible release of the whales, either tonight or tomorrow. Yvette Mooney, 7 News. Well, late this afternoon, another attempt was made to herd the whales out to deeper waters. With the details of that operation, we have Mike Searle on the phone from Augusta. Mike, has it been successful? Jeff, I'm very pleased to tell you that champagne will be flowing in Augusta tonight. The whales are free. At this moment, they're heading southeast in deep water. They've left behind them Augusta, and it seems at last, after more than 48 hours of trauma, they are safe. Mike, that's wonderful news. Why was it successful this time and not before? Well, we've witnessed an effort by the people down here at Augusta of immense proportion. After this morning's heartbreaking failure, which in fact cost the lives of five whales, including one of the babies, they rallied again. And in freezing conditions, they spent the afternoon preparing the whales for a 4.30 release. And at 4.30, a number of the weaker, weaker whales were taken out in slings attached to boats, almost as lures, if you like. And at the request of CALM, the Channel 7 helicopter was used to make a noise behind the pod of whales to drive them in the right direction. Mike, I believe that uh, there is going to be some plan afoot to follow the whales out to make sure that they do go right out to sea. That's right, Jeff. Of course, the big fear is that they could turn around and come back and beach themselves again. I understand the spotter plane will be up at first light tomorrow morning to check the beaches. Um, of course, tonight everybody in Augusta will be praying that that doesn't happen and that the whales will have gone away and are free in the, war in, in the sea. Thanks very much, Mike. Congratulations to both you and Yvette and uh, congratulations to all those wonderful people down there in Augusta. Thanks, Jeff. Indeed, great news. Perth drivers have given the thumbs up to Another pot of whales found stranded and beyond help. Tony Longhurst and Thomas Masira last out to win Bathurst. And the walls come tumbling down in Perth. Seven Nightly News with Jeff Newman and Rick Arden. Good evening and welcome to Seven News. Also tonight, the Lithgow Bash wins Olympic silver. And a shocking story of hideous animal cruelty linked to the occult. The whale rescue at Augusta is a success. The 32 whales released yesterday haven't rebeached themselves, but another group has been found further down the coast. The sad news is these whales were so badly injured they had to be destroyed. The latest group of 19 whales were spotted early this morning by two calm officers in the Seven News helicopter, checking for signs of a re-beaching. At first it wasn't known if these whales were dead or alive, or part of the group released yesterday, but after a short examination, it was found 14 were still living. But the calm men were confident they weren't part of yesterday's release. They are, however, part of the original stranding, which now numbers 92 whales, and they have been lying on the beach since last Thursday, being pounded by the surf. This beach is just so remote, it's miles away from the nearest road, and these animals are in a terrible condition. They're hurting, and the calm guys just don't know what to do. The decision on what to do with the whales had to be made back at Augusta, and after a brief consultation with the minister by phone, it was ordered that each animal had to be examined by two vets to assess if they could be saved. Uh, there is a possibility if they are uh, too far gone, I think we have may have an obligation to put them down if their prognosis is not good. Back on the beach, each whale's temperature was taken and reflexes were tested, but by mid-afternoon, their future was decided. Tim Crowby and myself have made an examination of the whales. It's, uh, it's fairly obvious that um, the condition of the whales is such that the most humane thing we can do is to uh, put them out of their suffering. He says it's the hardest decision he's ever had to make and it's a sorry end to what was a very emotional and very successful whale rescue. 
Thanks tonight. Thank